unfortunately. State sent me two bikes to review, and hopefully after we unbox this one, it'll be a much better experience than the 4130 Cromoly one, because I was uh, just a little disappointing. No box cutter, no problem. Okay. So this is everything that's in the box. And I have some points of constructive criticism for State and their packing. First of all, neither of their bikes, the 4130 Chromo's core line or the 6061 Black Label version 2, have fragile stickers on the box. Usually when I get bikes that are packed pretty well, they got fragile stickers all over that. Communicating to these shipping companies which way to transport it and how fragile it is will get it to the end user in a lot better condition a lot more times. My second point of criticism for their packing is that they are pretty sparse with the bubble wrap. These are the bars, they're aluminum. Aluminum bends pretty easily and it's wrapped in a lot of brown paper and I would have liked to see more bubble wrap in this. And the frame tubes aren't bubble wrapped at all. They have some cardboard and some foamy fabric-y stuff, which if you ask me if you're shipping something as fragile as an aluminum bike with thin tubing, that seems a little sketch to me, to say the least. Overall, though, this bike seems a lot more neatly packed than the core line was, because it is a nicer bike than the core line. So let's get this thing built up. I hate to spend so much time talking about packaging, but packaging protects the bike. I haven't started building this yet, and the seat tube protection is already falling off, and the drive side chain stay and seat stays don't have any protection on them. I'm assuming that they fell off and they're in the box. So far it doesn't look like there's any damage on this bike, and overall it is packaged a lot better and a lot more cleanly than the core line. It's just a little bit confusing for me to see a company skipping out on shipping materials and packing, because if you're sending a bike out to a customer and you send them a damaged product, that's a headache for everybody involved in the process. In my mind, if you just spend more on packing and making sure that the customer gets what they paid for, it's better for business. Bubble wrap the bike, please. This one stayed on. That's good. This and a layer of cardboard is what was protecting the top tube, and this seems a little too thin for me. So most of the bubble wrap on these handlebars have been popped already, which has been indicative to me that it was used, it did its job, maybe it's a good idea to wrap the thin aluminum tubes in it as well. And lo and behold, the bars were packaged correctly and they're not bent like the last ones. Ooh, no decals, nice. Uh, that's a bit spooky for me. No bubble wrap on a carbon fork. Just these little thin foamy sheets. That's a different experience for me. <laughs> Warning, please remove the rear wheel and tighten the lock ring and the cog prior to riding. There's actually some useful information on one of these safety stickers for once. Ooh, ooh, that was coy. I'll see you stay. So usually, when you get a bike, they put in these uh, little plastic stops in the ends of the forks to protect the dropouts. Here's half of it. Uh, where's, where's the other half? At least we know that state's not messing around, no pre-installed brake here. Something that's a bit peculiar to me is that the non-drive side crank arm has a cardboard sleeve over it to protect it from scratches, while the drive side crank arm, it doesn't. Be gone, valve caps. Yo, why does it always smell like fish when you deflate tires? I think in the US, it's required by law to sell bikes that include reflectors. I just get rid of them because who needs that? Again, yeah, I've got to hand it to state. Pretty dang good about how good their bikes look. I am a huge sucker for the gummies on the black rims. Ooh, it just looks so good. And the finish on these rims is pretty impeccable. Nice and smooth and creamy. And just comparing this wheel to the box section wins on the Chromo Core line. This one actually feels considerably lighter. Just going off of feel, it just feels like a more well-built wheel. And they've even got the subtle black label logo centered over the valve stem. And of course, gold valve stems. The details really matter when it comes to look to state. And I'm kind of enjoying it. I will be trying out the bike with both drops 
and wide visors, of course. Which one? Let me know in the comments. You can let me know, but I'm going to try wide visors first. They are a ton of fun. Ooh, this one has thread locker. I don't usually put blue Loctite on my stem, but I don't see why not. Thank you for an open face stem and for guidelines. Oh, that's tight. Ooh, not exactly 120. Rear spacing. It's gonna need a good yank. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Quality control, not the best. Now that the cog and lock ring are sufficiently tightened, so I won't strip any threads or die, that's also a bad one. The real challenge with this, though, is getting this wheel back into the rear triangle that's not exactly spaced perfectly. Alright, oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I guess I loosened it up a little bit. And they really, uh, make these chains short to ensure maximum rear wheel slammage. Now for the last piece to complete this bike, we need to get the pedals out of our favorite box. The warning user must read the entire manual and have a bicycle professionally assembled box. That's so silly. And in our favorite manual box, we have bar tape. Reflectors, these instantly go in the trash. Some logo pedals, toe clips and straps. That's actually pretty nice. The core line did not come with toe clips and straps. These look fine, usable. And of course, the brakes, which I will not be using because I live in Sacramento where it's really flat and I'm too lazy to be bothered to install brakes. Warranty stuff. Your warranty will only be activated after we have received a proof of professional assembly. Whoops. So it looks like that state got my order wrong. I asked for Odyssey twisted pedals with holdfast straps. Uh, they're not in here. So I will not be using those logo pedals. Instead, in this package that is actually bubble wrap. Thank you. Brake levers. No, that's not it. How many brakes did they give me? Wait, this is more brake hardware. These are brake levers. Where are the Odyssey pedals? Uh, it's not in this last package. It's two t-shirts. Bicycle, fixed gear, and single speed bicycle since 2009. SBC. I like the subtlety. And big fixed gear hub on the rear. Thanks for the shirts. So there's not one, but four brakes. Uh, and in lieu of the Odyssey twisted pedals and holdfast straps, there are logo pedals with toe clips and straps, which is fine. Thanks for all of these brakes. That's a lot of brakes. That is the loudest plastic in the world, my gosh. Oh, I don't have to put them together. Thank you, because... I'm lazy. Last thing, and then it's done. Oh yeah, I forgot that you could just rotate the entire pedal because the bearings are so stiff. Again, mixed feelings about that. <laughs> Loki. Do you like this bike? So you don't like the bike, but you'll ruin my shots? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please, Loki. First impressions of the State 6061 Black Label version 2. Keep in mind, I have not ridden this bike yet. All I'm talking about is my experience unboxing the thing and putting it together. Of course, the first thing, packaging needs to be more protected. Box needs to be labeled as fragile to ensure that the customer gets a bike that is well shipped and not damaged. Second thing, State does an ace job of making their bikes look really sweet. The Black Label version 2, no doubt, 
gives a lot of fixie points. It's got that really nice thick aluminum tubing and all that real estate for your stickers. State does a good job designing their logos. I'm really digging the head tube logo. It's nice and minimal. And the seat tube logo, that tells you what model the bike is. Actually, it looks pretty abstract when you're viewing it just from the side, so it doesn't look like you're a big billboard for State. Instead, they have like this stampish decal on the top tube. Overall, it looks really nice. It's minimal, but it still gives State the branding. The decals and the branding are really nice, but so is the paint and the finishes on the components. The paint, I got it in this nice army green, and the paint looks nice, thick, and consistent. There is no flaws in the paint as far as I could tell, which is a step up from their core line. The finishes on the components, they're all black, but they have this slight sheen to them, and they also all match. If you take a look at the crankset, the rims, and the chain, they all have that same black sheen to them, and it just comes together really nicely. And of course, there are those gummies on the black rims, which soft spot in my heart. So looking at the bike, probably the thing that I'm going to keep an eye on the most is the crank set. I'm no engineer, but to me, this crank set looks like they took too much out of it. I feel like it needs more beef in the spider, and this chain ring, it just looks like it can snap on you in any moment. Of course, I've never ridden it. You'll see what I think about the crank set in the full review. And this is a 144 BCD crank set, but I feel like it's going to flex a lot more than a standard 144 BCD crank set. I feel like with the crank set, they designed it with looks in mind and not so much structural integrity. I feel kind of sketch going in and riding this crank set because I can actually feel it flex a little bit when I just squeeze it gently, but this bike certainly looks cool, so let's see if it has the ride quality to match. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Mikey, Sincox, Matt, Ford, OZ, Virto, Connor, Kerrigan, Merrick, Dravecki, Robert Terpsha, Blue Tick, Hound, Durella01, Evil Ernie, Mark Vandeventer, and Dazeel for making these Fixie videos possible through their support on Patreon. If you haven't ridden your bike yet today, stop watching me right now and go out and ride your bike because life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.